This is JSA TV, the newsroom for data center and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine from JSA, and I'm coming to you live from Fort Lauderdale, Florida at uh, Metro Connect 2023. And I'm here with my longtime friend, uh, Mr. Michael Rourke. Michael is the CEO and founder of I Am Critical and I Am Data Centers. Michael, thank you very much for joining me in this impromptu discussion. Well, you're quite so yes, thank you. Um, and it's an impromptu discussion because we are gonna we are gonna talk about one thing, one very important thing, and that is ESG sustainability. Um, what I would like, because uh, Michael is a author, one of the authors of our Greener Data book, and happens to be here on site with me. So we're taking the the, the time and, and advantage of having you on site to discuss what uh, ESG means to you, what sustainability means to you, and ultimately where the industry is going in this regard. So, Michael, the floor is yours. Great. Well, I think it's a place the world has to go. <laughs> We're backed into a corner. And um, so data centers, uh, you know, we trade in IT infrastructure. So we have one segment of the company that owns and operates data centers, mm -hmm. uh, both um, uh, traditionally built data centers that we've acquired and we're refreshing and modular data center campuses uh, for which we build our own modular facilities. So I am data, the other business segment is we're actually manufacturers of modular data centers. Mm -hmm. Why modular after 25 years of, <laughs> of, you know, building, owning and operating and engineering and designing data centers, uh, we figured a, out a better way to sort of reinvent the entire process, thereby making them more sustainable and, you know, and, and uh, and better suited to ESG initiatives. So the um, um, what we do is that we took a hard look at it when we set up this company. Mm -hmm. We set up the company so that there's an automatic carve out of 5% of corporate profits that will go specifically to ESG initiatives. Yeah. And, um, and which may include a, a VC funding uh, for uh, uh, novel technologies that are addressing squarely the you know, reduction of carbon footprint. And um, and then um, um, across all of our processes and products, um, we we try to do things in an ESG friendly, sustainable manner, in a measurable fa a manner. So where there's there's real metrics uh, and how many you know uh, how much carbon reduction we're actually achieving. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things related to our ESG initiatives that are difficult to metric. Um, if they weren't difficult, it probably weren't worth doing, right? Well, yeah, I mean, and also just, I mean, um, you know, when you're building a modular facility, the, the site work consists of the, the underground work and pouring the slabs, essentially, you know, bringing in the fiber, bringing in the power. Uh, but the actual modular, modular uh, construction process is, is done in a very short period of time. For example, we're about to deploy 10 modules at 6,000 square feet, uh, three megawatts in Pittsburgh, where we own six acres. And the entire process of setting data centers, uh, data center modules and commissioning the entire data center will be about a month. So one metric is, is you've, you've reduced, and it's right up next to a residential neighborhood on one side. Mm -hmm. So you're reducing noise pollution. You you know, we we, to, we go to an extreme, you know, um, cutting an invasive species down and then turning it into mulch uh, to, pr to promote um, uh, erosion control. And it's all these little things that add up. But I think the main thing is, is that we're making these data centers uber energy efficient. Yeah. And we're reducing the amount of energy it takes to 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 achieve the same workloads and uh, thereby reducing power consumption, there's a very direct impact on carbon footprint. Yeah, I love it. So um, I am, you, you're doing this. This is real. This isn't lip surface. These are things that you are doing right now. Um, I think you and I both know that um, it's a very buzzy, it's a very in vogue thing mm -hmm. to be, uh, to be, um, to have a, 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 sustain, a sustainability initiative. In your mind though, what is it going to take for this industry to, tr to turn a real corner with regard to sustainability and renewable energy? We're in Fort Lauderdale and 20 minutes away, we have a factory. It's about 65,000 square feet. And we're building these things. By building them, I mean, we're cutting bulk steel, we're welding, we're doing the entire assembly 
of every system that's required for a high tier data center. And um, uh, we're able to do this less expensively than it is to build a traditional bricks and mortar data center, mm -hmm. which is remarkable. So these, these buildings we're producing have remarkably low PUEs. They're great envelopes, great R factors, um, and they're sustainable from more sustainable than bricks and mortar facilities from almost every angle, and they're less expensive. So I don't think that it, I don't think that um, being ESG sensitive, um, it requires a conscience, but I don't think it requires necessarily spending more. Yeah. And I just think it's, uh, uh, there's, you know, and there's, all of these companies are tr tremendously interested. Most companies are, have some genuine interest, I would say, and rather than just greenwashing, you know, and greenwashing, uh, and, interesting, and, and, yeah, and giving a nod to ESG and sustainability um, uh, to really do doing something about it. Yeah, you know, and I, I think that's amazing. Organizations like High Masons and the uh, infrastructure and the IT infrastructure side uh, and the membership there. Wow, I mean, it's very impressive, these big companies, rather yeah. than just greenwashing, they're trying to really do something to move the footprint on carbon footprint and, yeah. uh, and sustainability. Yeah, and that's that's why you're here, frankly. I mean, I wanted to make, I wanted to kind of give our, our viewers a little glimpse into uh, somebody who is quite literally putting that, you know, sustainable rubber on the road. So yeah. thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Okay. You thank bet. You. you think, and thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.